welcome back to my channel it is not uh, a regular video uh, in this video i'm going to tell you about the uh, i'm going to show you about the project that i recently made in python so basically it is a uh, battleship game uh, in this game uh, and it is a two player game uh, one is the user itself and uh, it plays against the computer so what does the game do is that there are two uh, two grids uh, two grids uh, one for the user and one for the computer so basically these two grids are two different areas and the computer and the user both have choice to choose its ships and the category of its ships and then the location at which they want to place their ships so when the placement is done the whole thing is set up and the user and the computer both have placed their uh, favorite ships then uh, the both will start firing each other and the uh, one uh, which uh, which destroys the all of the enemy ship will win for example if uh, computer destroys my entire ships I, i'm going to lose and if i destroy the computers it is going to be lose so in the end of the game if uh, i won uh, there is a uh, the, my computer or my program plays a sound and if i uh, lose then it also plays another sound of a different kind so let's start open up my file uh, this is basically a uh, command line game i am going to uh, i will also make a stgui version shortly so let's open up the python file so let's begin welcome to my battleship game so this is basically my territory and it is the enemy's territory so it is asking me the number of ships so here i place a check that uh, the number of ships i enter the enemy will also choose with the enemy will also have the same number of ships so for example if i enter the uh, my number of ships four or three enemy can also place only three or four ships respectively but uh, the enemy has a choice to choose the category of his ships so we will see later so i am going to choose three ships now it is asking me to enter my flag it is mm, at center xx then enemy flags oh, oh so now it is asking me the location of my ship um let's place it at 1 comma 1 so this 1 comma 1 is basically the row and column of my grid so one row and one column it will start from this this block so enter it now it is asking me for the category of the ship so there are three categories one is the boat second one is the aircraft and third one is the submarine so the difference between them is that the boat takes only one unit on the grid and the aircraft takes two unit on the grid and the submarine carries three unit on the grid so they have different health for example in order to destroy submarine i have to destroy its three units separately then if i have to destroy aircraft carrier i have to destroy two units so let's choose the third ship uh, i want to choose summary so now it's asking me the direction uh, i have uh, you see i have choose this slot this one and uh, now i have choose my summary and i want to place in downward direction so it will basically be like this this and this block i think so let's place in downward direction d for down and i place my ship in downward direction you see the enemy is also choosing its ship but it has two units so basically it has choose the uh, aircraft carrier so now we have entered our one ship two more to go uh, another location is 2 comma 2 i want no 2 comma 7 i want to choose just boat and in whatever direction doesn't matter for the boat so i place a boat the enemy is also choosing a boat this time and it at this position so let's enter our final and last ship and then we will start firing so i am going to enter 4 comma 6 this location I'm going to enter my aircraft carrier in upward direction, and I placed it. Enemy has also chosen it. So uh, whenever I'm playing the actual game, I'm I'm not able to see this enemy's grid here, uh, because uh, because in order to simplify the video, I have shown this and shown this grid so that we can end this game as soon as possible. Uh, so when have we have done with the placement, you can see we have uh, the health of our opponent is five and our health is six. So this health is basically the number of units that our ship occupies on. Uh, our particular grid so enemy ships occupy 5 units 1 2 3 4 and 5 and our ship occupy 3 units so we have three ships so now it is asking me to enter any key to start firing and e to exit the game obviously i'm not going to exit the game i'm just using the any key so any key and pressing it wait a minute there is a bug in the program so so here is the starting time we will also be able to check how much time we have played the game so here uh, you can see there is a navigator so i have made a navigator function in my program that basically tells me the location actual location not it, it doesn't tell me the actual location of the enemy ship it 
uh, actual location of the enemy ship it just tells us the know about where where my enemy has placed its ship uh, because in actual program we are not able to see this entire grid so it is giving me a 0,4 location so this 0,4 is basically this location so you can see the enemy has placed its ship nearer to this location so i might assume that enemy has placed its ship at uh, let's big it uh, huh. so enemy might have placed wait a minute my grid is here it will be fine now so enemy has placed a ship near 0,4 i might enter 0,5 and i have missed the target you see i have entered so this was 0,4 and i have entered 0,5 which where the enemy ship wasn't placed so i have missed the target and there uh, an m is shown to represent the missed target similarly at the same time enemy has also fired but it is also fortunately missed the target it doesn't hit my ship so now let's actually hit the enemy ship 0,4 location and uh, no 0,5 this time so you see i have again missed the location yes i have again missed the location no no i have yes i have again missed the location i have actually entered the same location this time 0,5 so 0,4 and you see this time i have hit the enemy ship and whenever i hit the enemy ship my flag will be uh, the enemy's flag will be replaced by my flag so the enemy's health is reduced by uh, one. Wait a minute, my health is also reduced by one. So it is basically the enemy has also hit my ship here. You see, here is the enemy flag on the top of my ship. So now destroy the, another enemy ship, uh, which is the navigator is giving me 0, 0,6, which is this thing I think. So this time it, it has given me an accurate value. So I have hit the enemy ship, and enemy's health is reduced by three, uh, by one. So another target this time i'm going to hit 1,7 1,7 is a missed target and the enemy is also missed fortunately so 1,6 and i've hit the enemy ship 1, comma, uh, let's this time 3,1 again a missed one and enemy hasn't also been able to hit my any of the ships after that 3,4 Oh wait 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 enemies hit my ship my health is reduced by one but I have missed the target so three comma six this time and I have hit the enemy's target so enemy's health is only one as it's have only one unit remaining is on its own grid and uh, my health, health is way larger than that, than that of computers so one comma five this time again missed one comma two this time I'm just going showing you guys what what is happening basically in the program so when I enter program, my program is going to play a sound uh, based upon whether I lose or win. When I, whenever I win, it plays a different sound and whenever I lose, it plays a different sound. So here I am likely going to be win. So 1,4 will be the last of the enemy ship. And you see, you have played the game. Congratulations, you have won the battle. Wait a minute, why have not in the, in the sound yet? I think it is because I have attached the microphone, but um, see, it has uh, it has played the sound. So, as long as the sound is being played, the uh, program is not going to uh, not going to forget. So let's enter. The So the sound has ended and our program has also ended. There are certain other features in this program I have added. For example, we can also comment and that the comment will be stored in a separate text file uh, ranked by the date, the name of the person and the comment. Um, the comment is not, uh, we, don't, we don't write man comment manually in the text file. Uh, the program basically asked that. Uh, what happened accidentally that uh, when the sound was played, I accidentally pressed the V button. So if you remember my previous screen, you see that uh, uh, there was a display that press P to exit the program or press any other P to comment the program. So if I pressed any other key at that time, the program would have asked me my comment and then it would have saved that comment in a separate text file uh, ranked by the date and the name of my name of the person which is doing comment. So I have the comments of certain persons in the text file. Let's open it up. It is inside the remarks file I think. You see here is the date written. The time the name of the guy and the his comment so that's all for my battleship game 
I will make its DUI version very soon. I am very excited to do that. And whenever I completed that project, I am going to upload it as soon as possible. So 